West Virginia and Iowa State. West Virginia six and a half and 56 on the road. Here comes Iowa State all of a sudden. Big road win against Oklahoma State. Doesn't matter who the quarterback's been. Uh, they've done a nice job. Remember, they shocked the world as 31-point dogs with the third-string quarterback last year, beating Oklahoma on the road. Campbell has been on a nice run as a dog as well. And here's the dream season for West Virginia. This was supposed to be their easy month, but if they can, all their tough games were supposed to be coming up in November when it's Texas and TCU and they have uh, Oklahoma the day after Thanksgiving. But now a top 10 team with a Heisman candidate and Greer got out of there with the win against Kansas as well. And we'll see if uh, if Iowa State's live here, although Holgerson hasn't been happy. He hated their performance in the second half against Texas Tech where they blew a big lead, got the pick six to win it late, did not score a point on offense in the second half. And we'll see if they can keep it going here against Iowa State, although he, he's concerned about Iowa State and thinks this is a dangerous spot for him. I, I agree with him. I think it's a dangerous spot, too. We talk about Matt Campbell and his record as a dog. And again, Campbell, not one of these head coaches, been around in 50 spots. Iowa State's been a nice little cradle of coaches and coordinators. And we talk about Tom Herman. That's where he got his start as a coordinator. And Matt Campbell, his last nine tries in underdog, he's lost one of those games. A couple pushes in there. They haven't covered them all. Uh, but you know, as we saw again last week, Iowa State's dangerous catching points. Dana Holgerson know, <laughs> knows what's coming. You know, uh, talking about the Cyclones, these guys don't care where they're playing. They're going to line up and play the same. They're a well-coached, disciplined bunch that continues to get better. Don't care if they're 2-3 and three or 5-0. and oh, Doesn't make any difference to me or our team. Obviously, they're coming off a big win at Okie State. Hard place to play. They competed hard and won that game. Shoot, the weekend before, they went to TCU and competed hard down there as well. And that, to me, really stands out. Iowa State won a shootout on the road the one week. They put up 48 points with the third-string quarterback and without their star running back uh, last week. And the week before, they covered wire-to-wire, nearly beat TCU at TCU in a game the offense that was scored 14 points in that game. Holgerson, they're disruptive up front. The biggest difference between last year and what they're doing this year is their front is a lot better. So we got a coach that we like. We got a team that's hanging tough as a dog. We have a team that's putting up points and a team that's playing defense. I know they're home dogs this week against a team getting a whole lot of hype in West Virginia. Yep. And uh, Holgerson loves the fact that Greer is mixing it up and, and throwing at different people. Ten different players have caught a touchdown, and it's not just Sills as Greer is getting everyone involved. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the games.